Welcome to Adelector Online. Here in this example, we're going to show you another very powerful portion of this technique. Because sometimes we have multiple sets of systems of linear equations. For example, here's set number one that says 4x plus 5y equals 2 and 2x plus 3y equals 4. And here's the second set where we have 4x plus 5y equals 1 and 2x plus 3y equals 3. And we could have a third and a fourth and a fifth set. And notice the similarities in each set the constants or the coefficients in front of the x and y variables are exactly the same. The only thing that changes is the numbers on the right side of the equations, which means that in each case I can find out the values for x and y in each system of linear equations by taking the inverse of a and multiplying times the b vector, uh, or b matrix I should say, it's not a vector but a matrix, and so you can see that here I'll multiply it times 2, 4. Here I'll multiply it times 1, 3. So once we find the inverse of A, we can solve very quickly all the systems of linear equations which are similar to that. And there are occasions where we want to do that. We want to compare all the various options that we may have in a particular situation. All right. Notice that the A matrix is equal to this. The X matrix for both systems is equal to this. And then we have two B matrices, one for the first system and one for the second system. So what we're going to do first is find the inverse of A. So the inverse of A is going to be equal to 1 over the determinant times the matrix where 3 and 4 interchange. So the 3 goes up there, the 4 comes down here, and the 2 and 5 will now become a minus 5 and a minus 2. And of course the determinant is equal to the uh, diagonal uh, numbers, 4 and 3 multiplied together, minus this diagonal numbers multiplied together, 2 and 5. So that means that D is therefore equal to 12 minus 10, which is equal to 2. And therefore, the inverse of the matrix is equal to 1 divided by 2 times 3 minus 5 minus 2 and 4. So now that we have that, we can very easily solve for the two solutions. So for the first solution, I can say that for the values for x and y that will satisfy this system of linear equations, that's equal to the inverse of a, which is 1 half, times 3 minus 5 minus 2 and 4, multiplied times the b1 matrix, which is 2 and 4. In this case, to find the values for x and y that solves that system of linear equations, is going to be equal to the inverse of a, which is 1 half, times... 3 minus 5 minus 2 and 4. Now be careful, this is 3 and the element minus 5. Multiply times b2, which would be 1 and 3. All right, so now we can go ahead and do that in each case. So we have the values for x and y is equal to 1 half times. So to get the element here, we have 3 times 2 is 6. F minus 5 times 4 is minus 20. Plus 6 minus 20 is a minus 14. And here to get the second element, it would be minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, plus 16, minus 4 plus 16 is plus 12. So then simplifying this even further, we can say that x and y, the values for x and y that satisfy this system of linear equations is equal to minus 7 and 6. In this case, we can say that x and y, x and y is equal to 1 half times... 3 times 1 is 3, negative 5 times 3 is minus 15, 3 minus 15, that's minus 12, and you have minus 2 plus 12, minus 2 plus 12 is a plus 10, and so we can see that in this case, the solution for that system of linear equations is equal to minus 6 and positive 5. So you can see that once you find the inverse of the matrix, you can very easily solve for each system quickly by simply multiplying that inverse times the matrix of the constants on the right side of the equal sign. So there's a very nice example of, of how very efficient this particular methodology can be to solve for systems of linear equations that are similar like this, with the only difference that the numbers on the right side of the equal sign change in each particular case. And that's how it's done. <laughs> My eagle fell down. Oh, oh, gotta put it back up here. Uh-oh.